everyone, I'm Mary Ellen with Headwaters Science Institute and welcome to our Sciency Halloween Day. I'm going to show you how to have some fun science and make monster toothpaste for Halloween. Monster foam is really satisfying because it happens fast and you can play with different ways to make it. The foam is an exothermic reaction so it produces a little bit of heat. You may be familiar with hydrogen peroxide we keep it around the house as an antiseptic to kill germs and it kills germs by oxidizing them which means that the atom releases an electron in a chemical reaction. So hydrogen peroxide is made up of hydrogen and oxygen like water which is H2O. Hydrogen peroxide's formula is H2O2. That extra oxygen on there makes it unstable and a little more fragile and so it breaks down easier. That's why they put it in these brown bottles so the light won't break it down. We're going to take advantage of this unstableness and add a catalyst, which is something that speeds up a chemical reaction. Baking yeast is an organism that has a special chemical called catalase. So we're going to use the catalase in the yeast as our catalyst to get some energy out of our hydrogen peroxide. This is what you're going to need. Here's how we're going to do it. I have two bottles because I'm going to make two different colors. You can play with a wider neck or a skinnier neck. I'm going to see what happens with these two bottles. First thing you do is you take warm water and put two tablespoons into a small container. And then you put one tablespoon of yeast into each container. Stir that up and let it sit for about 30 seconds because the yeast has to dissolve a little bit. It'll look a little cloudy and thick. Then you take a half a cup of hydrogen peroxide and put it in each bottle. Next I'm going to add some colors. I think I'm going to make an orange foam and a purple foam. So if you have some food dye, you can play with mixing the food dye. Yellow and red, hopefully we'll make orange. And add that to the hydrogen peroxide. And the last ingredient is dish soap. Because the hydrogen peroxide is going to be releasing a lot of gas, the dish soap is going to help can encase the gas and turn it into foam. So you do a big squirt of dish soap in each one. So there is no catalyst in here, so nothing should be happening. So I'm going to stir it up, get all the colors, and now we add the catalyst. All right, let's see what happens. There goes the yeast. Whoa, we've got orange and we've got purple foam. Oh, that's awesome. It'll keep producing foam as long as you have hydrogen peroxide and yeast in there. What's happening here to make all this beautiful foam? This is the catalase in the yeast breaking apart the hydrogen peroxide into water and gas. And the soap is encapsulating the oxygen gas as it gets released and making a lot of foam out of it. Play with it and see what you can change. See if you can do a narrower neck. Or what happens if you don't add water to the yeast? Will it act the same? What if you don't add any soap? Can you get any kind of reaction out of it? Have fun with it and happy Halloween.